Yes, there is subs of Tai Zai out right now. Just to say this real quick at the beginning of the video, I did not watch it raw. There is subtitles out already. So if you want to watch Tai Zai with subs, it's out in English. So let's dive into this week's episode of Tai Zai. If you were on the Facebook Chibit community, most likely you saw my post. Or if you looked at my Twitter, you probably saw my post too. I didn't go further into the the elements I stated in my post, but I'm going to go into it with this review. A1 Pictures, out of everything, I don't want you to mess up. Please don't mess up Taizai. I, I, I beg, I beg A1, please don't fuck up Taizai. Please don't fuck up Taizai. You're, if you're wondering why and you're an anime-only watcher, I'm about to let you know. They cut out an actual really important key character in this episode and the way they cut him out they cut him out completely like he didn't even exist and it's actually not a good sign because this character they cut out is important very very important way down the road in the arc that just ended the latest arc in the manga that just fucking ended and they skipped this character and didn't even introduce it or anything I want to show you a picture of it. I want to show you the picture. I'm not going to spoil you. Don't worry. You're not going to get spoiled. I'm just showing you what they cut out. And from what they cut out, it's not a good sign at all. Because it's scary. This. This black hound here. They cut that out. That should have been in this episode. That should have been way in this episode. This actually should have been in before King was introduced at the end of last episode. The scene at the end of last episode, that scene was actually supposed to be in the middle of this episode. See, like, in the after this part right here with the dog, if you go into the later parts of this chapter, you will see King actually talking with Gil Thunder. Right, let me try to find it, and I will show you what I am talking about. Right here. Okay, see, King is talking or with his dog right quick in this. If you see it right there, he's talking with him. King's floating. He's, you know, grabbing his dog. The scene before that, if you look, see, this is the exact iconic scene we saw at the end of the last week's episode. King's floating. Gil Thunder's talking to him. There you go. So, pretty much from what we can get is that they completely cut out the Black Hound. Now, the majority of anime only watchers are going to be thinking, like, what the fuck is so important about a Black Hound? It's very, 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 very important. Now, like I said, if they don't add it in, it will cause a plot hole and an ass pool. It will be a fucking ass pool in people's eyes down the road. Anime only watchers, if it ever has a season two or if it rushes this series to that point, people will call that an ass pool. Because Taizai does obvious and very subtle foreshadowing. It does. And removing that plot point, it actually worries me. It worries me a lot about the future of this series. Because, let's let's be honest here. Let, let, let's just be real and honest here. Majority of anime series from this year of anime has been rushed or adapted wrongly. Like, it's just been fucked up bad. Like, a, a lot of anime. Like, Kami Got Kill today. Ruined. A, a, anime original, pretty much. Black Bullet, there's just so many series, great series, that has been rushed and ruined this year. Tokyo Ghoul, for instance. A1 Pictures, please. I, I beg of you, do not. Uh, this can slightly still be corrected. It can still be corrected if they add it in next week. If it doesn't get added in the next three episodes, it's fucked. Like, this plot point is not good to skip. People can argue, but that is a massive plot point. Another thing they skipped. Now, this kind of makes me upset. As a manga reader, in loving this manga, as I do, majority of you anime and watchers are probably manga readers know how I feel about Taizai. Seeing this skipped. This skipped. I'm not going to go into details. I'm not. I'm not even going to explain it because it technically wasn't even explained at all. It wasn't. It, it honestly was not explained in this panel at all. They skipped this. There's the dog. Look at that. They skipped this in this episode. I'm worried. I am really, really worried about Tizer right now. They've been rearranging events, which I'm fine with. I'm fine with them rearranging events to make it flow better, like how they added the flashback in this episode. They added the backstory to Bond. The flashback, that was a flashback when he was met, met, like meeting Elaine for the first time. And he was, like, trying to steal the Fountain of Youth, pretty much. That 
right there. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the way they handled that flashback. I mean, it was a side story chapter. It is important. It is canon. But the way they handled it and they were switching back and forth for it, progressing with it, that was fine. I'm fine with changing events. For instance, having King appear at the end of last week's episode to show it to give us a nice good cliffhanger. That is fine. But when you remove plot points completely, like they completely fucking remove like it didn't even exist, the dog, no. Episode. It followed it faithfully, like, besides the dog in that one part I just showed you after the dog when you saw the small little fucking dog compared to whatever you saw, I'm not gonna go into it like I said, besides those parts, the episode was beautifully adapted, it was, it actually was adapted, the gory scenes of Bond when he gets fucking a whole obliterated inside of him, that's fine, it's completely fine. The overall aspect, when you see the gore and carnage of King and Bond's fight, that shit was hype. Oh my god, I fucking love that. It really looked a lot better in the anime than the manga. Animation was top notch. Not even gonna deny it. It was beautiful. The episode overall was a great episode. I, I will not put it down. Like I said though, the majority of anime only watchers will not realize what was skipped. You won't realize. You won't at all. But like I said, the problem with this episode... It's not just because I'm a manga reader and I want it to be perfect, but what they removed eventually will turn into an ass pool or a plot hole. Like I said. So, we'll have to see. We'll have to see where Taizai goes. I haven't given up faith in this series. I will not give up faith so soon on my Taizai greatness. But A1, please A1, I, I, I don't want to fucking rant on my Taizai. Please, don't, don't force me to rant on my Taizai. I, I will be mad. Very, very fucking mad. Like, I will be, oh god, I would be fucking mad if I have to rant on a series I really, really love. This is one of these series, the few series I look forward to every fucking week to review. And if they ruin this shit, I am going to rip them a new fucking asshole in my fucking rants. I will. So, A1 Pictures, fix this, introduce the Black Hound. I'm fine with you skipping that one thing with the dog. Fine, I understand your reasons behind it. But don't do this anymore. You can change your scenes around. You can flip them around. Okay. Don't do that. Just don't fucking remove things. So, yeah. In the review. Got a little bit, uh, kind of heated in this review. But, yeah. It, it was an okay episode. It, it was a good episode. So, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love y'all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.